Hi, I'm Kate Hornsey. Welcome to the 2014 Sydney International Rowing Regatta. This rowing regatta incorporates the Australian National Championships, the Interstate Regatta and the first World Rowing Cup for the season. And I thought we'd just go and check out the boat park and show you a bit around. So let's go check it out. Okay, so rowing falls into two different categories, sculling and sweep. Sculling uses the smaller blades and each athlete has two. Uh, in sweep, we just use the larger blades and each athlete has one. Uh, I'm predominantly a sweeper. I've spent most of my time in the pair four and eight and just have the one oar and we often get criticised, you know, we can't handle two oars, we can only handle one, we're not as good as those scullers. Okay, so we've scoured the boat park here and I've found for you a single skull and a pair. So the single is one athlete with two oars, the pair is two athletes with one oar. So pair's important, if you don't have your other athlete you just go around in circles. Now we find ourselves in the open area and as you can see behind me there are a lot of athletes here. Uh, generally this is a good place to do some stretching and really just chill out before racing. You'll find a lot of athletes with headphones in really just focusing in on what they've got ahead. Right, now we find ourselves in the warm-up bay and you see the athletes behind me on the watt bikes and the rowing machines. So basically this is where people come to prepare for racing and come and cool down and a lot of them will jump on the rowing machine and work up through the slide to get their muscles firing so they hit the water ready to go. So we're on the boat landing now and this is the final place that the coaches have their last say to the athletes before they're out there on their own ready to race. So the athletes will bring their boats down, carry them on their shoulders down, put their oars in and push off from the landing and start their warm up. So now we find ourselves out on the racing lake. Um, it's 2,000 metres long and eight lanes wide. This is actually the very course that hosted the 2000 Olympic Games. Generally we find the fastest crews in the middle lanes but there's always an exception to the rule with some sneaking up on the outside. The boys actually change colour to signal where you are in the race. For the last 250 they've turned pink and the last 100 metres they turn red. See that's when you know to go. 